Alright guys, so this is going to be an updated tutorial for the mod folder switcher. It's going to hopefully cover installing it, how to actually get it from the new Trello board, as well as how, a little tutorial on how you can actually use it to better your game, really. So here we go. Right, so what's going on is basically um, earlier versions on the mod folder switch are probably no longer going to be working for you guys. Obviously, there is some people out there that are quite new to the mod folder switcher, so this is going to sort of help you guys out a little bit. So, obviously, we've got a new Trello board for the SGA mods that you can access any time. You don't need to create an account or anything like that. You can actually come in, it's all fully public. Now, obviously, I'm going to focus on the mod folder switcher for this video. Um, Obviously, I'll pin the link to this um, website down below the video for anyone who wants to check out the rest. But obviously, you do have different modders here who've posted mods on here. But obviously, we're going to focus on the Dagenet mod folder switcher today. And to get that, all you have to do is click on Dagenet mods here and then this little attachment right there. And that will take you to his page. From there, you go to the mod folder switcher version 3. So, same thing again. Just click on it and then look for this little paperclip link. Click on that and then what it will do is it will download automatically. Sometimes you may need to click on there um, just to get it going. But it literally only takes a few seconds to download. Obviously once it's onto your system, downloaded onto your computer. Let me minimize that for a sec. Go to your download folder or wherever you downloaded it. Now what you want to do is install this program onto the same hard drive that the game is on. So for me it's on my C drive. Obviously, if you use like Steam and reloc reloc relocated it onto, say, a D drive, E, F, G, whatever, what you want to do is move this folder to that drive and then install how I'm going to basically do it in a minute. Now, there is a couple of ways you can do this. Um, the way I always find to do it, so it actually installs properly, is to keep the folder as a zipped folder, okay? All you just have to do is double click onto that folder and look for the setup right here. All you have to do is literally double click on that, give it a moment or so just for it to kick in and you'll get this little window pop up. Obviously click on the more information and obviously it just gives you a little a bit about who created it and what it is. Um, obviously it's a fully tested program. Unfortunately it doesn't have a license. This is why this is popping up. but. A lot of people are using the mod folder switcher. I've used it for a long time. I fully trust Mr. Diagenet, and this is why I'm carrying on using it. So when you get this, all you have to do is click on Run Anyway. And what that is going to do is bring up this little pop-up window. Obviously, this is mainly for new ins installs, but obviously, if you're updating from like version two, it's pretty much the same procedure. You don't really have to do anything different, and it, what it should do is override that original. Um, files that you've already got in your system. Obviously, I've actually uninstalled the one I had. Um, one thing to bear in mind, if you are updating your current existing one, what you may find is it will create a new one because it's not recognizing the old one now. So you may have to go back a little bit later after you install this and un uninstall that earlier version and just use this one. So once you get this um, pop-up, all you have to do is click on the install, and what that'll do is it'll download any thing, extra files it needs, install it on the computer, and boom, it's installed. Obviously, one thing it can have issues with is finding where your, the base game default folder is. So all you have to do is just click on the OK, and then path it to wherever your saved game documents. Now, no, normally that it's saved in your documents, my games and then fs22 and this, that's all you have to do click on that folder and then hit ok and that is now set up it's installed onto your computer it is that simple so what i'm actually going to do now obviously if you're updating the previous version and you get it to work obviously all your buttons and all that and settings will still be there but obviously if it does Unfortunately, add a new version. Obviously, you're gonna to to just quickly relink all them. Now, obviously, I am playing on PV Canyon Crossing by Mr. Dajnet at the minute, and I've already got a folder here. I'll just drag it across, and I'm going to use this one as a to show you how to sort of set this up. So, obviously, what I want to do now is have 
um, basically link this to the game using the mod folder switcher. And to do that, all you do is click on one of these buttons, obviously create your folder, name it whatever you want. You don't have to put anything in it to start off with, because what we're going to do is run temporarily run through what you need to do to get it up and running. So all you have to do is drag that across into there, and obviously that's going to automatically path to that folder and add in the name of whatever the folder is. Obviously, you could just highlight that, rename it if you wanted to. Um, nice thing with this as well, it's like the last one, you can colorize the buttons if you wanted to. So let me select red, for example, for the background. Obviously, you get the little preview here. Obviously, you can change the text if you wanted to. It's got with a bit of yellow there. Make it something that's going to stand out for you so you know that that's the folder you want. Obviously, once you've done that, all you have to do is then click on finish, and there's that button set up it's that simple now one thing I always tend to do is just give it a double click just to make sure that that folder is selected and make sure that that little green bar on this side is vis visually showing next to the button so to actually get the map um, for PV Canyon Crossing or any of those different maps that are currently out by the SGA guys all you have to do is click on options here and unfortunately it's got to pop up underneath so I'm gonna to have to move these around a little bit which is typical and this is what you're gonna see so all currently PV Wolf Creek, Volcano Island, uh, PV Uncharted Pompey's Edition, NBC Acres and Underhill Valley are all currently on the mod folder switcher ready to download obviously these buttons are just the maps themselves they can all run from the same folder if you wanted to now Obviously, there is going to be the mod pack to go with them, and that's going to be this one right here. So you can just sync this one into the same folder these maps are in. Now, one thing that DashNet also did with this update is added in mod packs 1 and 2. And these two, right here, can be sunk, synced into a different folder to be used on an, any other maps. So if you've got maps that are non-SGA or PV maps, you can use these mods on those um, maps. So it's kind of a nice little thing that he's added. One thing to bear in mind when you are doing this, um, some people have mentioned that it's not syncing to the folder correctly. If you look down here on the bottom bar, it'll actually show what folder is selected. And obviously for me, it's showing the PV Canyon Crossing. Now, obviously, I, I'm not going to run through the full sync download, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up this folder. Obviously, there's a few unzipped, so um, what I'm just going to do is probably remove, well, actually, I'm not even going to remove one any because it could take me quite a while because my internet is not the greatest. But obviously, one thing's missing is the Canyon Crossing button. Oh, hang on. Where's that? Now, obviously, that is the last map that needs to be um, unlocked. And all you have to do is on that Trello board, if I come back here a sec, unfortunately this is going to be in the way. Let me move that over slightly. It's kind of a nine, but it is what it is. Right in here, you can see where it says code to unlock CC, that's Canyon Crossing, is. And it says, why are you waiting for CC? All you literally have to do is, and all I do is double tap on that to highlight the whole thing. Do control C to copy it or right click and right click and copy on your mouse and what you want to do if I can get rid of this a minute is go back here where it says unlock code all you have to do is control V and paste it into there exactly how it is on the web the website there and then click unlock code and as you can see you do get this lovely little button once you've done that just click on the, f the button and obviously you get this pop-up just click on yes and what that will do it will download all the map and the mods for the map also you can add in additional ones later on um, obviously I'm not going to worry about it because obviously I am up to date and I think actually I've got a map update to do as well so it could take a little while for that but yeah bear in mind when you first do that first install it will take a while obviously once it hits the map that is the biggest thing in there it may take a little while to do is just leave it till you get that pop-up come up saying that this fully synced so if you do have any issues try and grab one of the streamers um, for the SGA while they're streaming they should be able to help you 
obviously Dajna on Twitch, myself Billy Alpaca on Twitch, um, there's Darius Frost, Boom Howard double underscore, T Miller, the rest of the guys, they will help you as much as they can to try and figure out your issues. Obviously, like I said earlier, make sure that you are downloading, um, installing the program onto the same drive your game is, okay? So obviously, like I said, mine is on my C drive. That's where I've installed that. But yeah, obviously, once you've done that, that is how simple it is. So just a quick run through of some. Obviously, you can actually add in other maps that are non-SGA maps if you wanted to. Create just create your own folder. So I'll do it again, just a quick run through. Just go to your new create folder. Your system might be a little bit different, but let me just te do a test. So other map, for example. Just click on that button, drag and drop that folder into the mod folder switcher. Obviously, it's going to repath it and everything correctly. Also, you've got your color option if you wanted. Let's go for blue this time. Um, the text, obviously, will make that a little bit brighter for you. So, I don't know, go for a bit pink or something. Make it stand out and notably for you. Obviously, you can click finish. And there it is. It is done. And as you can see at the bottom, it is already pathed. Now, what I tend to do um, is load up the game once it's synced, just to make sure that it is there. So, obviously, this is a new install for me. So, I'm just going to select that PV Canyon Crossing. I'm going to make sure that it's a link showing down here that it's linked correctly to that folder. If it doesn't, what you may need to do is just go to the default a couple of times and then go back to that folder. You should be able to actually exit from there there if you wanted to. I always load up the game first of all, so we'll just do that quickly. Do, 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 do. So obviously this is for FS22. So let me move that out of the way a sec. And there we go. So if I go into download, uh, downloadable content and then go into what's installed and there it is literally everything already Obviously, I've got a few additional ones that I've done myself. There's other ones that I've got for the in-game mod hub and from other SGA members. So, yeah, that definitely worked. Obviously, if I'm unsure, I can always go into the career. Obviously, scroll across. Oh, there's my save game. It's all looking good to me. It's all perfectly fine. But, yeah, you can actually do that with any map. It doesn't have to be the SGA, SGA maps. It could literally be ones off of the in-game mod hub. So, for example, if I come back a minute... And if I come here, obviously one thing you can do is come into the menu and open that current folder if you're not sure where it is. There it is right there. Obviously if I click select that other map one, what I'll just do is a quick install of a different map into that one just to show you. So obviously if I open that current folder, it's completely empty. So if I open up the game and just pull one from the in-game mod hub, hopefully it shouldn't take too long to install. So Ba -ba -da -ba -bam. Come here, we'll go to the maps. Um, I don't know, we'll just grab that first one there. It's not too big, so yep, let's install that. Okay. Now, obviously, one thing to bear in mind while this is installing, try and keep most of your maps separate. For the big reason is one map can actually have a negative effect on the map that you're currently running. So this is why Dajnet went through, created this folder, uh, mod folder switcher also in 19 there was the PV mod uh, mods tool that you could use before that there was er earlier versions and so on gone back it just makes managing your maps a lot easier obviously one thing you can do as well is create a full separate folder for like your favorite um, mods that you may use regularly pop them all into one folder you can actually actually sync that in and I'll if I remember how to do it, I'll show you that how, how to do that in a minute as well. Ba -ba -da -ba -dam. Let's do the there. 67, 68, 69, it's getting there. And this is why I didn't do the sync with the map, because obviously the map is quite a big file um, compared to the rest, so it would have taken a little bit of time to download, but yeah, it's not too bad today. There you go, that is now downloaded into that folder. So if I come back, go back again and quit the game.
Now, as you can see, there it is right there. That is the folder that I just downloaded straight into, which is really, really kind of cool. Now, like I've mentioned, you can set up a favorites folder as well for this. So if I just move that up there for a second, I'm going to create another folder. So same thing again. So create a folder and I'll call that favorites. And then what I'll just do is the same thing again, select one of those folders, drag that into there. Obviously, I'm not going to worry about the colors and stuff. I know what it is. Obviously, I'll be going through all these again and adding in my, the rest of my folders. But I'm just going to click finish. Obviously, make sure that it is selected. And then from there, what you could do, if I just grab a few out of PV Canyon Cross in here, um, that could probably work on others. Uh, let's go with the farm story. Actually, let's do something that's actually zipped this time. So that one's off the mod hub. B -b 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 -um. The Brooks. Oops. Two. Uh, bulk storage. I'll grab the careers mod. That's really good. that's a really good mod actually. The careers mod. And we'll go with that one there. So we'll just copy. So Control C. Control V, paste them into that favorites. Obviously, this is just to show you guys how to do this. You can spend a little bit more time adding more in. Now, obviously, I want to, if I have multiple maps that I want to run these on, obviously, just create that favorites folder. And then from there, obviously, it is selected right here. What you can do is select the folder that you want to put those um, into, and then go back to the options. believe it is yep so right here it says copy f uh, favorites from current active folder and then we'll select the where so obviously you do need to my bad select the first one go to options obviously select the folder you I want so what all you have to do is click on that and go to right my desktop and obviously I want to find that other maps folder so I just want to scroll down and it's right there so select that folder do OK and then copy and it should be done so copy complete your favorite mods are now in your mod folder to, oh okay I've done it the wrong way okay but yeah it should be the other way my bad so if I come into here yep it didn't do it so let's try that one more time I don't often do it this way, but it's easier just to copy from the folder and put them straight in. But let's select other map first of all. Then, oh, let's close that because it won't take effect. Do that. Go to the options. So obviously, I want copy to the current to this folder. Yep. Obviously, I want to take it from the favorites, <laughs> which it should have been initially. So it's the other way. So you need to go to desktop. I don't usually do this, so yeah, uh, there's the favorites right there. Select that, so OK, and then copy across. Blah, 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 blah. Obviously, one sec. I shouldn't have that in there. Oh, I do for some reason have that in there already. Oh, yeah, so I did copy across. So it can work vice versa. So let me delete that one in a sec, because I don't need that to be in there. And I'm just going to sk skip that. But yeah, obviously, that is going to copy all those over it's gone into my other folder hopefully with a little bit more practice I'd really like I said I don't really use that option very much but you can use it as much as you want but there you go so you obviously let's copy all of them across it is really quite simple <laughs> oh it's gonna be one of those days I think but yeah that is basically how to download install obviously like if like I said if you are installing this to update it from an earlier version just run the same process but make sure that it is going to the install the same way that you did it originally okay guys so hopefully that's helped you out a little bit um obviously make sure to go to obviously the new trello website get this update and obviously if you do have any questions come over to any of the streams you can obviously help out on facebook if you want there is a group there i'll pop a link down below in the video as well um obviously it, the SGA Discord, you can get help from there as well. And like I said, any of the SGA streamers should help you. Now have a great day, guys. And that is me for today.